Hello, you're with Calling All Stations and this suspiciously straight tree-lined path that's behind me and in front of me as well looks suspiciously like a railway line, doesn't it? Um, that's because it is. I'm walking the Beckton Gas Light and Coke Company Railway. Today we're out and about in the Docklands to find out what's left of the Beckton Gasworks Railway. Railways have always been an integral part of London's Docklands, with lines crisscrossing the industrial landscape in some form or another for well over 130 years. Some of those lines have been replaced or converted, but many others have been lost. Built by the Gaslight and Coke Company, this short two-mile branch line ran northeast from a junction at Custom House with the former Great Eastern Railway's North Woolwich route. The journey has started slightly to the east of this point at Royal Albert. To say there's not much here would be an overstatement, though do look out for the recycled network southeast benches in DLR Turquoise. One lone structure does stand at Royal Albert, this rather beautiful Victorian dock building. It's now owned by a property developer, of course, but if anyone knows what this structure's original purpose was, do leave a comment below. We cross an access road to the XL and immediately onto the former track bed. To the left of us in the undergrowth is what would have been the junction at Custom House, an area now of course being converted to Crossrail. To the right a tree-lined parkway extends off into the horizon and to Beckton Gasworks. The line opened in 1873 and was obviously predominantly used for freight workings to the gasworks. A passenger station was sighted at the end of the line the following year to provide access to the gasworks for workers. Beckton station closed in 1940 after the line suffered damage during a bombing raid in the Blitz. Though the line was repaired, the station failed to reopen at the end of hostilities. Freight continued on the line until the 1970s, when rail transportation around the Docklands was in sharp decline. There's very little evidence that remains of this line being a railway, other than the fact that it's just dead straight. Um, and if you look from, from Google Earth, you can sort of see where it would have connected at both ends. There's noise everywhere. You can hear City Airport, you can hear the end of the North Circular, you can even hear some of the DLR trains if you uh, listen carefully. It's not a quiet area, um, but it's quite a nice peaceful little path. It takes about 20 minutes to walk the full length back from um, Prince Regent, where I got off at Royal Albert. Um, and there, there you go, it's all very modern. All very modern, very sort of 90s, post 90s. It's all it's all the uh, Docklands development, of course, around here. Uh, we're coming up to uh, Beckton Station, there in front. Um, and there is a tiny bit of the DLR that still exists on the original track bed. The gasworks still exists, though it too has shrunk its footprint. Much of the area is now occupied by new housing developments and the DLR depot at Galleons. The journey ends rather abruptly at the modern Beckton DLR station. Just like the rest of the route, there's no trace of the former level crossing and signal box that would have once stood near this location. And there we are at Beckton. This is the only bit of railway that sort of still survives on the original track bed. So behind me, trains leave east, and of course the interesting thing about Beckton station is trains leave east, they do a, a big loop around galleons and then head back west. So even though you, you leave east from Beckton, you, you're heading back into London, rather bizarrely. It's probably uh, one of the few places that that happens in London. Anyway, the original Beckton station would have been just down there, just sort of underneath that road bridge. Um, so that's it, that's the uh, Beckton uh, Gas, Light and Coke Works Railway ending at Beckton. I'm going to head back into town now. Very tranquil.